Ah, you again! Oh. Keeper, you found my workshop after all. I know it may not look like much, but it's home. <laughs> I told you. You can call me Alexios. In front of the staff? Ha! Ah. But I'm glad you came. There's much to show you in this great land. If you're offering, I could use some help getting my bearings. Oh, give yourself time. The Golden Fields reveal themselves slowly and selectively. But I can help. Walk with me. Maybe you're right. I need to clear my head. Where to? I consider myself a keymaker. One of my keys might interest you. What do you do in your workshop? Invent. All of reality's secrets are hidden behind doors. My inventions act as keys that unlock those doors. You reveal the secrets behind them? Ah, you're as wise as Peter Horas. But why discuss what we can see for ourselves? <laughs> Observe, way up there, Persephone's first key. If only you could have seen it when it, it was It seems new. like most of Elysium is in ruins. What happened? This place is beautiful, as are all of Persephone's creations. But it is a world that changes at her whims. When I see decay, I know she needs us at her side more than ever. heroes who have passed through those golden fields, basking in the glory of eternal peace. Each thinking they'd see nothing more beautiful, only then to set eyes on Persephone. Keeper. That encampment is the site where Ephastos built a home for Aphrodite. Doesn't look like much now. It stood tall until Aphrodite met that child Adonis. His ability to wreak havoc with a wink and a smile is second to none. <laughs> Off we go now. Cave leads to a key I built for the staff. Consider it our secret. The keymaker and the staff keeper, friends bound by mysteries.
What happened to me in there? Imagine for a moment. Inside you, inside all of us, are parchments twisting like ribbon. On those parchments is written the story of who you are, who you were, and who you will become. Does that make sense? So this twisting ribbon defines each of us, and what happened in there changed what defines me. You understand? With these keys, you can unlock the secrets inside you, and wrest control from them. I've built many. Thank you. I'm not used to doing this on my own. On the Adrestia, I had Barnavas as a guide. Ah, well, I hope it's a long time before I meet him here. I'll leave you to your adventuring. You're welcome to come back to my workshop anytime. Here, Hermes. <laughs> Concerned. I'm worried about Persephone. Persephone can look after herself. She's incredible. I agree, but these are strange times. I've heard that some ungrateful delinquents plot against her. These ungrateful delinquents. Could they be right? Bah! You give them too much credit. Still, Persephone needs protection. Don't look at me. There's a friend of mine and your father's, Kiros of Zarax. He's a strong and honorable warrior. He's been abducted, but if we could free him... You're suggesting we make a human Persephone's bodyguard? With Kiros at the ready, the humans will think twice before attacking one of their own. Say no more. I'll find Kiros for you. Ah, I knew I could trust you. While you're gone, I'll arrange a meeting with Persephone. Bring Kiros to the heart of Elysium. We'll be there. Heroes of Zarax, Hermes sent me. So, how do you get that stuff? Pythagoras was my father. Things happened. Now it's mine. Ah, that right? Uh, that makes us family. I knew the man well. I heard. This way. Persephone is waiting. Persephone herself? <laughs> All right, Kiros. Let's make this quick. You said this is going to be easier than you thought. Since we're basically family, I'm trusting your honor. I work for Adonis. But you were caged by humans. Yes, and Hermes found out about it. Right around the time Persephone was coaxed into deciding she needs a bodyguard. You staged the whole thing, and you're using Hermes to infiltrate Persephone's lair. <laughs> you're no simple warrior. Before I met your father, I had four sons. Each a warrior. When my third boy fell in battle, there was only guilt. I'd cried all my tears for the first two. Go on. And with the fourth, I felt longing. Sadness had become my only friend. And I had no one left to grieve. 
warriors don't bring peace. They bring sorrow. Huh. So by getting behind Persephone's defenses, you think you can prevent war? You could convince her to surrender, or distract her while Adonis escapes. Anything but battle. But before we go to Persephone, I have to send confirmation this plan worked. Will you take me? Fine, but be quick. We need to go to Persephone and their miss. They're waiting. You really think you can save lives? I'm not sure how death works in Elysium, but suffering is eternal, and that is something I can't stop. They're coming for you. That's all of them. Let's keep moving. Once Adonis hears my plan worked, maybe he'll stand down. Hurry, Kiros. We need to get back to Hermes. Or Persephone might suspect something. I hear Persephone likes to test her new recruits. I put a bit of a temper. If you see me turning right, I'll think of something. <laughs> Go on. Yeah. Come on. Where have you been? No one keeps Persephone waiting. It got complicated. We took a less direct route. What matters, Hermes, is I'm freed thanks to you. When I go to my queen, I will make sure she's grateful to you for my service. Explain it to Persephone. She's waiting. I'll make sure she knows this was entirely my fault, not yours. I'm sorry I was ungrateful. Kiros will make a strong guard. Thank you again, friend. Here, Hermes. Keeper, I've been robbed! These are dark times for Elysium. Those delinquent fools have robbed even me. What did they take? I fashioned a key. A recipe, if you will, for an eternal flame. I intended to gift it to Persephone. With it, she could shine her light, even in the underworld. An eternal flame could bring order to this chaos. You understand her burden better than you let on. By enduring her sacrifice, Persephone keeps us safe in the Underworld. So write the recipe again. What I wrote took lifetimes. We can't let it stay in the hands of humans who would use it against her. Keep her! Alexios, we have to steal it back. I'll take back this recipe. But only because I don't think anyone should have access to a flame that never dies. These are desperate times! You've seen the cloud these delinquents cast on our golden fields. I said I'd get it. Ah, I thank you. You are quickly becoming my friend and ally. Ah, 
I'll find the rebels and get your recipe. That's all I ask. If you are spotted or cause a commotion, we risk retaliation. Go unseen. There'll be trouble. I see it. Looks like the scribbles of a madman. But it's been ripped. Where is the rest of it? Huh? <laughs> 
We need to get the recipe back. About that. Here it is. You've spared this realm great suffering, my friend. I wonder, were you spotted? It was heavily guarded. Things got ugly. They will know it was us. They'll retaliate. I just wanted to help, but I've made things worse. I'm keeping these torn notes. If rebellion is coming, this power could be used to light all Velisium on fire. Perhaps you're right. So long as you swear to me you'll guard this secret with your life, I can rest knowing Persephone will never be touched by this flame. There's more for me to do, Hermes. I should go. When we met, it was as friends. If war is coming to Elysium, I want you as my ally. <laughs>